Have you ever wondered about the secrets that lie within the walls of Yale University's oldest secret society, Skull and Bones? Let's travel back in time to the year 1832, when the Skull and Bone Society was first established. The society was originally intended as an exclusive and clandestine gathering for the most distinguished seniors at Yale University. Its inception was marked by the ambitious vision of its founders, William Russell and Alfonso Taft. Picture this, two young men driven by the desire to create a unique society that would stand the test of time. Russell, a relative of an opium empire, and Taft, who would later father a United States president, were not ordinary students. Their collective vision was the foundation of what would become one of the most enigmatic societies in American history. The historical context in which Skull and Bones was birthed is crucial to understanding its allure. The early 19th century was um, a time of great social and political change in America. The seeds of the Industrial Revolution were taking root and the country was on the brink of a profound transformation. In this era of uncertainty and change, the creation of skull and bones served as a beacon for the elites. It became a platform for them to connect, share ideas, and influence each other in a highly confidential setting. The society was shrouded in secrecy from the very beginning, with its members sworn to silence about its activities and rituals. This veil of secrecy naturally sparked curiosity and speculation, leading to the birth of numerous myths and legends about the society. And so the seed of mystery was sown in the fertile ground of Yale. The society's origins, steeped in secrecy and exclusivity, laid the groundwork for its enduring mystique. Yet this was just the beginning. With each passing year, the society's influence grew, its membership expanded, and its secrets deepened. So the seed of mystery was sown in the fertile ground of Yale. But how did it grow into the enigma we know today? Ma, from its humble beginnings, Skull and Bones evolved into a society shrouded in secrecy, attracting the attention of conspiracy theorists worldwide. Skull and Bones started as a university organization at Yale in the early 19th century. It was established by a group of students who sought a space to debate and socialize away from the prying eyes of the faculty. However, over the years, this simple student club transformed into something much larger and more powerful. As the members of Skull and Bones graduated and ventured out into the world, they carried their loyalties and connections with them. They infiltrated various sectors of American society, from politics to business and beyond. This transformation from a university organization to a nationwide network of influential figures is what truly propelled Skull and Bones into the realm of legend and intrigue. The society's roster reads like a who's who of American elite. Let's look at some of the notable members. President William Howard Taft, a known Bonesman, wielded his influence from the highest office in the land. The society also counts among its members numerous senators, ambassadors, and even a few supreme court justices. In the realm of business, the society's influence is equally profound, with members leading multinational corporations and financial institutions. These individuals have undoubtedly shaped American society, politics, and economy in ways large and small. Yet, their association with skull and bones is often relegated to a footnote, a tantalizing detail to be whispered about at cocktail parties. It's easy to see why uh, conspiracy theorists latch on to the society. With so much power concentrated in the hands of a few, it's not a stretch to imagine that they could be pulling the strings behind the scenes. The society's influence spread far and wide, but what does this mean for the average citizen? 
On the surface, it may seem like nothing. But when you consider the society's reach and the potential for collusion, it's enough to make even the most skeptical among us raise an eyebrow. Ways with power and secrecy comes suspicion, and Skull and Bones has had its fair share of both. It's no wonder that a secret society as shrouded in mystery as Skull and Bones has given birth to a multitude of conspiracy theories, each one more intriguing than the last. Among the most popular and perhaps the most controversial is the theory that Skull and Bones controls the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA. According to this belief, Skull and Bones members infiltrated the agency during its inception in the mid 20th century. The theory suggests that the society uses the CIA as a tool to manipulate global events to their advantage. Critics argue that this theory is far-fetched, but proponents point to the number of bonesmen who have held high-ranking positions in the CIA as evidence. Then, there's the theory that Skull and Bones has had a hand in orchestrating major historical events. From wars to economic recessions, some believe that the society uses its influence to shape the course of global history. The proponents of this theory often cite the society's alleged control over the Federal Reserve and its supposed influence on the financial markets as evidence. There's also the theory that Skull and Bones is part of a larger global conspiracy, the New World Order. According to this belief, Skull and Bones, along with other secret societies, is working towards creating a one world government. This theory is often dismissed as a dystopian fantasy, but it continues to captivate the imagination of many. These theories, as fascinating as they are, are often met with skepticism. Critics argue that they are based on conjecture and circumstantial evidence, but the secrecy that surrounds Skull and Bones fuels these theories. After all, when an organization operates in the shadows, it's not surprising that people will speculate about what they're hiding. These theories might seem far-fetched, but can we dismiss them entirely? The answer, much like the society itself, remains shrouded in mystery. In the 21st century, Skull and Bones continues to be an enigma, but has it retained its power and influence? As we delve into the modern era, the Skull and Bones Society still operates in secrecy, its influence subtly shaping America's political and social landscape. The society's members, known as Bonesmen, are still drawn from the elite classes, many of them hailing from prestigious backgrounds in politics, business, and academia. The Skull and Bone Society is not known for public announcements or open declarations of its intentions. Rather, its influence can be seen in the careers and actions of its members. Several Bonesmen have ascended to high-ranking positions in politics and business, suggesting that the society's network of influence remains strong. For instance, in the past few decades, we've seen Bonesmen serve as senators, governors, and even presidents. In the realm of business, Bonesmen have held CEO positions at major corporations, and in academia, they've served as presidents of renowned universities. The society's influence is not limited to America. It extends to global politics and economy as well, with Bonesmen present in influential international bodies. In terms of its current activities, the society is as enigmatic as ever. The rituals and meetings continue to be held behind the closed doors of the society's iconic tomb at Yale University. What exactly happens inside remains a mystery, fueling endless speculation and theories. Despite its secretive nature, 
the society has not been immune to criticism and controversy. Some accuse it of perpetuating elitism and inequality, while others question its influence on American politics. Yet, regardless of the criticism, the society continues to exist, its influence undiminished. In conclusion, the modern skull and bone society remains a powerful, albeit secretive, force in American society. Its members continue to occupy positions of power and influence, suggesting that the society's impact on America extends far beyond the hallowed halls of Yale University. The society remains shrouded in secrecy, but its impact on America is undeniable. After exploring the history and evolution of skull and bones, what can we conclude about this mysterious society? From its inception in the early 19th century, the Skull and Bone Society has been shrouded in a cloak of mystery and secrecy. Its origins, deeply rooted in the academic halls of Yale University, have given birth to a society that has become a testament to power, influence, and an enduring enigma. The society's evolution is a narrative of transformation and adaptation. The Skull and Bones, a bon society, has managed to remain relevant, morphing into an entity that has been both praised and criticized. It has navigated the tides of change, making it a formidable force in the annals of secret societies. There is a certain allure that comes with the unknown, and Skull and Bones has certainly capitalized on this. The conspiracy theories that surround the society are as numerous as they are intriguing. From claims of world, world um, domination to allegations um, of occult practices, the society has been at the center of several controversies. These theories, while mostly unproven, have fueled the society's mystique, making it a gripping subject of intrigue and speculation. In the modern era, Skull and Bones continues to be an influential entity. Despite the advancements of the digital age and the increasing demand for transparency, the society remains as secretive as ever. Its members, a who's who of America's elite, continue to wield significant influence in various sectors, from politics to business. The Skull and Bones Society is a paradox. It is a visible yet unseen entity a known yet unknown quantity. A society that is both influential and elusive. It is a mystery that continues to endure, despite the passage of time and the relentless pursuit of truth. While we may never know the full extent of skull and bone secrets, its fascinating history and enduring mystery continue to captivate us.